today we're going to talk about starting your fitness journey. Um, starting your fitness journey is one of the hardest things that you can do when it comes to the health and healthy lifestyle life, lots of lives. Um, it's really, really important that you know this because it isn't easy and that's why so many people don't stick to living a healthy lifestyle. It takes a lot of dedication, motivation and drive to consistently stay active and also commit to healthy lifestyle changes. To be able to live a healthy lifestyle, it's really important that you focus on a few main things. These include exercising every day. Now this doesn't mean going to the gym and lifting loads of weights. This just means moving. Exercising can be anything from a 10 minute walk to two minutes up the stairs. You can also make sure that you are eating a balanced diet. Now this is usually the hardest aspect of living a healthy diet because there are so many yummy temptations out there from chocolate to ice cream to takeaways to McDonald's to anything, you can name it. And it's cheap and easy and tasty. And we'd much rather choose those over having to actually prepare healthy foods. But in the long term and in the short term, you're going to see immediate, the immediate positive benefits from eating a healthy, balanced lifestyle. So you've got the two obvious ones, exercise and eating well. You also need to know that mindset comes into this. And this is something that is often neglected. Things like meditation, talking, counselling going outside and really attending to your needs on a psychological basis is one of the other most important aspects. And all these three various um, factors work, uh, work for each other and work together. And that's why it's important that when you start your journey, you know this and you can figure out and trial and test ways of promoting a good exercise habit good eating habit and a good way of looking after your mental health, okay? So they're the three main aspects I want you to focus on. I want you to go away and think about ways that you can exercise on a daily basis that isn't going to be a chore. Is it following a four week challenge like this one so that you have somebody that's holding you accountable, have somebody to follow and you really don't have to think about it? Or is it making sure you go out for a 10 minute walk every day? is you make sure that you're going to the gym to do a Pilates class or a yoga class, yoga class. Make sure that you find and you plan a way of doing this. Then, I want you to set some food goals, whether this is drink, I know it sounds simple and you've heard it a million times before, but drinking water. It's a, such an important way of promoting a healthy, balanced lifestyle. And it will help with those salty cravings, those savory cravings, those ones that aren't particularly good for you cravings um, because sometimes we mistake hunger for thirst. So make sure you're getting enough water. Me personally, I'm not a big water fan. I don't like the taste of it. I don't enjoy drinking it, but I make sure that I drink enough squash and carry around a liter of squash with me a day. Now, if you don't know what squash is, it's like a cordial that you mix with water. Um, so there's about this much squash and this much water um, in your bottle. Okay, so there's those aspects. And then finally with the mental health aspect. Now this is usually the hardest because it's something that's emerging currently, something that's still being investigated. There's a lot of evidence out there that's misleading and there's also a lot of evidence which is amazing out there to show that certain strategies are very beneficial for your own psychological well-being. So give it a go, try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it works, fantastic. Whether it's meditation, yoga classes, going on a deciding to join a walking group so you can talk to somebody whilst you exercise. Different various activities that you can really allow your brain and your mind to kind of settle and enjoy life a little bit more. So I hope that that's been beneficial. It's really, really important that you incorporate this and that you understand that this is what's required of you to live a healthy, balanced lifestyle. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch. I'll gladly let me know as much as I can. And if I can't help you, I will find somebody that can. Okay. Thank you for listening. I hope that it's been informative. Remember to subscribe and click the bell button below so that you can know and are aware of my next videos. Have a lovely day.